going on guys welcome back to another video my name is Ron and this is MotorTube if you're stopping by for the first time smash the subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and be part of the family make sure you also follow me on Instagram at toxic SRT also add me on snapchat at toxic SRT as well so we got a few things we're gonna talk about today but number one is Alex's Hellcat I'm gonna put his Instagram here so make sure you guys go follow him his battery died so he called AAA they came jumped it it works and then it keeps dying so we don't know what is going on but they did say I believe the battery is fried so we're gonna try to go and drop it off at the dealership but we're gonna see if it'll turn on so let's see if it'll turn on It struggled, but it turned on. Nice interior. Alright, so we're gonna go to the dealer now. So we're about to head to the dealership. I'm about to hop in the ramp and follow him there because he's obviously gonna need a ride back. And we got a few things we're gonna talk about on the way back. I don't know what's up with LA. It's been raining for the last few days. It's kind of annoying. But Alex is in front of me and uh, we're headed to the dealership. So we just got to the dealership. Um, this dealership is probably the most high security dealership I've ever seen. I don't understand why there's like a little checkpoint right there. Um, kind of confused. <laughs> but uh, Alex is going in there right now. And I'm following him. Hopefully they let us in. We're going into service now. So we are leaving the dealership now. And we got to talk to you guys about one thing that is very important for people whose cars are registered in California. I know this affected a lot of people, so I'm going to throw it back to the GoPro and we're going to talk about it while we go get some breakfast. So let's get it. All right, guys. So we're going to hop right into the topic. California passed this new law bill, whatever it is, um, that basically states that you can't have loud exhaust and you will be fined up to a thousand dollars so doesn't affect me because my cars are not registered in California but it does affect people that cars are registered in California because it's kind of sad this hurts a lot of people turn right so the whole Sepulveda bill Boulevard. or law is basically if your car is loud excessive noise so even if it's stock they can still give you a ticket. You could, of in course, fight it. Miles. And you'll win. And, and you'll win. But the fact that they're going to put you through that for you to go get a lawyer and all that is going to cost you gotta money, time. Got to take time off work. It's, like, unnecessary. And I feel like the cops are just doing this because they have something against the car community. And I'm not sure what that is and why they have something against the car community. I do understand there's a lot of sideshows here, which I don't like to participate in any of that, honestly, because it's never usually nice cars. It's usually a bunch of slow cars there that just do a bunch of burnouts, disrupt the peace. Literally, I'm talking about like they'll shut the whole street down to do this kind of stuff. And um, I'm just not into that. I've never been into that. I, I like going to the track, racing, going to Mexico. That's it. I don't like you know, stop in the middle of a neighborhood and do a burnout. So maybe because of that, they're doing this. Maybe this is like they're backfiring at them and they're like, oh, you guys are going to do this. Then we're going to hit you with this because a lot of them do have loud exhaust. That's what I believe. They're just trying to go back at the car community. But this is hurting a lot of people. Not everybody does the, uh, the slideshow or whatever they call it. So some people just cruise. Right. Some people just cruise and like his Hellcat. <laughs> He, he doesn't do any side shows. He doesn't do anything. He just people modify their cars. That's the whole point of owning a sports car. You know, it's rarely you find somebody that owns a sports car and just leaves it not modified or just, you know, leaves the stock. Unless you have a Bugatti, maybe. So, like, I don't understand if a Bugatti is legal, a Dodge Demon is legal, right? These are all crazy cars that could get you, you know, in trouble and in a lot of harms. But exhaust can't be legal. Because one, one, like it takes a few seconds of flowing in. Right, yeah, yeah, speeding. right. But an exhaust is not going to hurt you at <laughs> all. I mean, it's just, 
I don't know what it is because I feel like if you're revving mm. or you're trying to make a lot of noise, then you can get a ticket. I agree with that. But they stopped uh, Daily Driven Exotics while he was at the light. Literally, the, the motorcycle was next to him and he said, oh, it's a loud exhaust. Of course, they couldn't give him a ticket. They tried to come up with something. They were like, oh, it was Dave driving. And they're like, oh, you know, why would I give you a ticket if it's not your car? Well, that's no. That's not why he didn't give him the ticket. He didn't give him the ticket because the car's not registered in California. So you can't... Every other state from Michigan, right? There is one city that might pull you over for exhaust, right? But if it's really loud, but it's kind of a small downtown area, so they pull you over. But everywhere else, they don't pull you over for loud exhaust. I've never heard of this. Only in California, they do this. And it's kind of crazy. Like, I don't understand. The car community here is huge. And for them to do this, it's gonna ruin a lot of things. So, people who own exhaust shops, exhaust companies, uh, people who, who, who work on modified cars, who modify cars, that's stopping a lot of money. And on, the only thing this is going to do is stop people from registering their cars in California. So California is not going to make money off these people that live here. Because, Arizona. yeah, you register your car here, they have to pay a certain fee to register their car here. You know, you get plates or whatever. So I, I don't understand if that $1,000 fine is really worth having all these people, you know, not register their cars here. And it's simple. This is how you not register your car here and register it in another state. If you have an LLC in another state, you can easily register your car out of state. And a lot of people do it. For example, uh, you'll see a lot of people with plates from Montana. People who have like exotic cars because they save money there. I don't believe they tax on cars because I remember somebody who had a McLaren that saved like $17,000 because he registered it in uh, Montana. So I don't understand where this is going. What's what, what they're trying to accomplish with this. So I'm just shocked. And there is actually a petition if you guys want to sign like i said this doesn't affect me but if you guys want to help these people out if you guys are the people that do want to modify your cars and i feel like this is just like you can't really control everything now they're trying to control everything the way you modify your car you're supposed to leave your car stock it's ridiculous so make sure if you want to support that make sure you sign the petition in the description i'm going to leave it there i don't know who started the petition but it's been going around getting a lot of uh you know s signatures i think it has at least ninety thousand signatures in one day already so make sure you go sign it but uh, i'm gonna ask him because he has a loud exhaust a little bit louder than mine and he lives here so what do you think of this do you think this is right it, like I'm screwed. <laughs> like, his is really loud, but... There's a cop right there. Too. Yeah, there's a cop right there. That's, like, the third cop we've seen. Yeah. But, like, you can't just go after people that are minding their own business just because they have a loud exhaust. I don't get it because from the state I'm from, we don't do this. You know, the only thing that I can think of is getting a full exhaust. Right. You could also get that. You could get cutouts. Yeah. But, but then... That costs so much. But then that's going to cost so much. Usually, people with Hellcats usually remove resonators. Mufflers, cats. That's a hundred dollars here, hundred dollars there. But now you you're gonna expect them to pay like two grand to, to do that. It's like I'm speechless because when I heard this, um, I knew they had something like that before, but it was kind of like a fix it ticket. Now it's you're done. You're gonna pay the ticket. And it's a, up to a thousand dollars. So it's ridiculous and I don't agree with this if you're disrupting the peace and you're revving loud and you're trying to cause attention you're in a neighborhood you have the right to get a ticket I do believe that I'm not standing for those people who do that but if you're just driving normally and you just happen to have a modified exhaust like everybody does that has a modified car I don't feel that you should get a ticket and a ticket that's up to a thousand dollars it's not even a fix a ticket so it's it's ridiculous. I don't agree with that. But let me know your thoughts in the description below. I do love the back and forth that you guys comment. Uh, I, I like to know your opinions of what you guys think about this subject. I wanted to make this video. It's kind of out of my schedule. You know, I pushed a few videos away to make this video just because it's something that happened recent. And I feel like we should all sign the petition to support bringing back exhaust because... That's part of modifying a car. That's part of having love for the car. You want to modify it. You want to build it. You want to, you know, some people have YouTube channels that like to build their cars. So I don't think they should tell you of what to do to your car. As long as you're not disrupting the piece, I feel like it's okay to modify your exhaust as long as you don't do the wrong thing with it, like rev it in a neighborhood, just rev it all over. It's modifying a car. It's, it's, 
it's been legal for a long time. I don't think they should make it illegal now because it'll stop a lot of people's money. It'll hurt the economy. Um, exhaust shops won't be popular anymore um, because a lot of their business is from modified cars. So you're taking jobs away from this type of law. So sign a petition, guys, because we need to get this law to just be overthrown or whatever they gotta do to get rid of it. All right guys, so it's the end of the video. I just had to make this video because this is very important. I want you guys to all go sign a petition just because as a car enthusiast, I feel like this isn't right and this is gonna just stop money for a lot of people. It's gonna, it, it's gonna hurt jobs that have to do with exhaust. It's just, it's not a good thing to do because we have a right to, we could modify our cars if we want to, especially if it's not illegal in every other state except here. So, and the fines are ridiculous, up to a thousand dollars. That's ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? We already pay so much for car parts. Some of, some of pe some people can't afford to pay a thousand dollars a ticket. This has to stop, so make sure you guys sign the petition. Also, stay tuned. I got more track racing videos coming up, probably in the next video. Uh, we got a special car that I made a video about, and it's a lot of racing, a lot of action, so stay tuned, so stay tuned for that. But with that being said, it's time to end the video. So if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're new to this channel, smash the subscribe button. Turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos. And be part of the family. Make sure you're also following me on Instagram at ToxicSRT. Also add me on Snapchat at ToxicSRT as well. And if you're from LA and you have a cool car and you want to make a video, make sure you DM me on Instagram, all right? So it's ToxicSRT. Make sure you DM me and we'll link up. If you want to go to Mexico, whatever you guys want to do, let's get it done. Love you guys. Have an awesome day. And make sure you guys stay positive. Peace out.